Hello, my darling most adorable and lovely women. Each of you deserves the best future and the best life. Today, I have some good news for you, my darlings. I want to share it with you. Today, I've received a message from my student who has been depressed for five years. If any of you are watching this video and thinking that nothing can help you, I know how to help you. When my student turned to me, she was 34 years old. She said, you know, I haven't had interest in anything for three years. I didn't want anything at all. Actually, it was her mother who turned to me. She said, help us, please. My daughter is just lying motionless all the time. She has not even gotten out of bed for the last two weeks. She's suffering from a severe depression. Such a strong state of grief and despair. Help us, please. When we did the initial diagnosis, I saw that the spirit of depression, which is in her aura, had grown much larger than her physical body. Can you imagine it? A huge black energy that is in her aura. Dear friends, if you or someone around you feels depressed, it's not because of your own self. It's because of the spirit that is destroying your whole life. Our main goal is to expel this spirit from your aura. Well, we did three sessions with my student, and we managed to expel this spirit from her aura. Now, she has written to me herself. She confessed that after the first session, she realized that she wanted to eat. Until then, she had refused food for a week. She wrote, I felt like eating. I asked my mom to open the windows and let sunlight in. But, earlier, she kept asking to close everything. Actually, it was not her, but the spirit of depression who was asking for that. She wrote, I got out of bed and took my first steps, and I felt that I was getting some kind of hope. After our second ritual of expelling the spirit from her aura, she realized that she wanted to go outside for the first time in a while. She went outside. She said, I was walking and crying. How could I deprive myself of everything that surrounds me? After the third ritual, I made her a special defense from this spirit to make sure all the consequences of its presence in her aura were eliminated. I gave her a special protective amulet. Take a look at it. It is an owl with a bat nut. It should always be put at your bedside when sleeping. This is a special shamanic protective amulet. After that, she said, I want to carry out my project. She has always dreamt of writing children's fairy tales. She had a special talent, and children loved listening to her fairy tales. And what do you think? Today, she wrote to me. Can you imagine? I received an invitation from a publishing house. They want to publish my book. She made the illustrations herself. She herself wrote the fairy tales. She said, they just loved what they saw. This is what happens when the spirit of depression abandons a woman's life. My darlings, please imagine. Here is the spirit of depression. Awful, ruining your life, depriving you of vitality and power. And here you are, beautiful, gorgeous, and adorable. You just need to split from this spirit and discard it from your life. Then, the power will return, the energy will return, and the joy will return. To start with, you should understand that the spirit of depression is the reason for your bad mood. The reason for apathy, the reason why you don't want to do anything, and the reason for why you don't even want to look at the world. Most importantly, remember that this spirit is very scary and treacherous. It is very difficult to deal with alone. Happiness is when you are surrounded by people who support you. 
Happiness is when there is a group of like-minded people with you, like, for example, in the field of love. When you perform the field of love together with our teammates, the spirit begins to retreat. There comes a state of joy. It's a great happiness to attend the places of power. Although, I want to warn you right away. Do not travel to places of power without a shaman. If you visit the place of power with the spirit of depression or with some other negative spirit, then this spirit will fuel itself with the energy of the holy place and will grow even larger. Dear friend, that's why it is important to visit the place of power with a shaman who will know how to help you. A shaman may make a deal with the spirit or trick it out of your aura. That's why you should come. I will be happy to set you free from the spirit of depression. What can you do by yourself? You should make yourself move. Make sure to give your physical body a good workout. The spirit of depression hates it when a person starts to do things. The spirit of depression says, Lie down. But you decide to get your body off the bed, off the sofa. You go outside, you start walking, dancing, moving. The spirit is scared off when you get active. I know that not all of you can attend my seminar right now. Not all of you have a group of like-minded people in your city. There is the field of love where my students recreate a miraculous pace. Well, now, I want to share a special meditation with you. Do it all the time, do it every day until you feel relief. For this purpose, I will need my magic candle. I am holding a special candle in my hands. I charged it to help you. Now, look at the flame. Tune in. Feel the flame of this candle starting to burn the spirit of depression. It removes thoughts of weakness. That you fail all the time, that nobody needs you. That you have no future. Get rid of these thoughts. Let the fire burn these thoughts away. Inhale the power of this fire. Fire is sacred for shamans. A shaman will never blow out the fire. Fire is a living entity. Now, give all your thoughts of weakness to the fire. All the unwillingness to live, unwillingness to smile, to eat, to move. Throw those feelings away. Throw away the reluctance of sharing love with your loved ones. Picture how much they miss your love. And now that you have given it all to the fire, I am sending you a stream of special healing energy. Energy of self-belief. May this fire now rekindle the flame of life inside of you. You are getting the energy to move forward in your life. You are feeling a desire to move on. A desire to love. A desire to give energy to your loved ones. Love. Activity. You are awakening. You are receiving the energy to laugh and enjoy yourself. I'm gonna make it. Repeat it like a mantra. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Start clapping, awakening your vitality on the level of your solar plexus. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Once the spirit of depression is taking over you, just tell it. I'm gonna make it. 
I'm gonna make it. Now, take one last deep breath of the fire. Exhale. Feel this fire running through your body. My darlings, remember that you are stronger than the spirit of depression. The love that you have in your heart is necessary for your loved ones, and when you are depressed, you are depriving them of your care, your protection, your love. Become a real woman of power. Become a source of light for your loved ones. Expel this spirit from your life. I will definitely help you to do it. Together, we will expel the spirit of depression from your life. Then, your life will turn into real light, love, and prosperity. Then, your loved and dear ones will be proud of you. Then, you will share your love with them. Goodbye. And remember that you're gonna make it. The spirits have brought you here. This means that you are on the verge of a new stage in your life. The discovery of superpowers, contacts with spirits, the uncovering of your predestination. All of this will be revealed to you at the next seminar. Follow the call of the spirits.